Hello everyone and welcome back to Minecraft the Survival Series. While you weren't looking, I actually kind of finished out our front lawn. I added a little waterfall here, some flowers there, and a little tree here, and not to mention this overgrown stone path. Now if I had a choice, I would definitely find some mossy cobblestone blocks to fill in the rest of this. But since we're not to that point yet, we kind of don't have a choice. Uh, before we begin today's activities, I would like to tell you of a sad, sad story. So let me tell you as we go into bed. Oh, so on the Switch Bedrock version of Minecraft, Riley and I, you remember him, right? We were playing yesterday, and we decided, oh yeah, we're gonna go do a raid. We're gonna raid a pillager stronghold, and then we're gonna go into a village and do a raid. Well, guess what? Because, uh, for some reason, the one... Pillager outpost we had on our map was just gone. I mean, it was there, but it was just kind of, like, broken. We couldn't even get the Pillager Captain or the Bad Omen effect. So, yeah, it was just a bit sad. Well, anyway, now that we've gotten that out of the way, I just kind of wanted to vent a little bit about that. Our activity today, we're going to explore the rest of this map. Because I have not explored it, you have not explored it, and I definitely want to explore it. Okay, so before we get going, I think I'm going to put some of my... No, not not my apples. My apples are good. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I went into a... Um, oh crap, this is not even a chest for that sort of stuff. Yeah, I found a village uh, back behind our mountain. I'll show you in a second. I got three emeralds from it. Uh... That's really it. I got th I got some emeralds. I think I got a little more iron. We now have 40. I'm definitely going to have to go mining, probably off camera soon, so that we can actually, like, get some stuff. Alright, well, anyway, the only kind of thing I don't have that we probably need to have is a sword, and I'm thinking I'll, we'll craft an iron sword. Iron sword will probably be better for normal mode. Uh, we do not have any wood. Of course we don't. Alright. Oh yeah, these are the bushes that hurt you when you walk through them. So just a little bit of protection from the mobs of the night. Alright, let's just get this little bit of wood and so we can get our sword and just get going. Because I am, I am just ready to explore the world. Our first long, long-term expedition out into the world. You will not be seeing all of it. That would be way too long. I still want this to just be a reasonably sized video, but we will be seeing, you will be seeing quite a bit of the world. I still need to, like, kind of fix that up, terraform it a little bit more, but that is definitely not a priority right now. Well, I mean, neither is going out and exploring the world, but yeah, I just kind of Ah, shoot. Why is this still on this type of crafting? Shouldn't be. Alright, well, either way, we got a we got a sword. We're putting that right next to there. Now what we should be ready to go. I'm not bringing a bed. Because I would really I don't Okay, so just be careful not to hit any of the bushes. That's probably why we needed to eat an extra piece of food. I think we got enough food for this. Uh, we're going to head up first. So, yeah, once we find some stuff, I'll see you guys. Okay, guys, we're not really even close to starting, but god dang it, I hear a witch. We should definitely be um more careful. I'm, I'm going to actually skip or oh my god would people stop coming online jesus i'm actually going to go for frick's sake these plants i swear to god okay so we're gonna actually go up these uh this staircase that i built last episode and i'm gonna we're probably gonna run into some all right of course food Alright, so this is how we're going to get around and start going around the edge of the map, finally. There's the village I found. That's probably the village we're going to use to trigger the raid. 
I'm actually thinking about back here. Maybe this is where we can build our actual... Okay, you guys have never heard of this, but I was thinking about turning this whole area, like, this base would be like a medieval camp, or like a medieval town. It's got a really cool idea for it. It would only use, like, some cobblestone and spruce wood and use the lay of the land and that village. And some stuff. Oh, they have some interesting things there. All right, we're, we're finally getting around to this mountain here. Come on. All right, I'm going to break you and break you. Why am I breaking it with a sword? That makes no sense. All right, just coming up here. Might want to get some of this coal. Uh, who knows? I did get some some coal off camera. Haven't done any mining yet. I really need to do that. You guys probably don't want to see that. I'll just do it off camera and we'll be able to get some... Uh, oh, what's the word? <sighs> Frick. Diamonds. Diamonds, that's the word. Holy crap. What? This looks awesome! Wow. Okay, I was not... Wow. This is like a true river valley, but it's like a hill and... Oh my god. Oh, building here would be so cool, but I also don't know if it's like a viable place to build or not, so... uh We'll just have to think about it. I know they definitely have a little enclave back here that I can use to build, but that's, that's about it. Hmm. Oh my gosh, would you please jump? Th okay, maybe I can't jump there. I just use a pickaxe to destroy that. Oh my god. I'm just trying to use as least of my saturation bar as possible so I don't have to eat too much. And I think I'm, I think I'm good. All right, now we seem to be getting to some open plains. All right, guys, well, I just got an extremely spooky noise, and we're getting pretty close to a swamp here, which is the home of the witches, of course. Also, we're right next to a dark oak biome, which is home to basically everything. It's one of those biomes that are just, now it's called the root forest, but... Oh, it's just one of those biomes that's, like, hardest because it has no light, and so zombies and skeletons can survive in the daytime, so, yeah. Alright, we're getting close to the northern edge of our map so far. Pretty good. I wonder how long it'll be until we run into, like, a, uh, pillager stronghold again. So, um, yeah, okay, I didn't, I didn't, ow, frick, I didn't get any, um, wool or anything for a, for a bed, and, well, would you look at that, I might need just a single, oh, come on. Okay, just you, you. Is that sheep trying to run? No. Okay, that's that's very good. All right. No, wrong button. All right, I'm gonna need some more of that. We're we're doing this super fast style. Um, bed. Where would a bed be in here? Oh crap! I'm not used to this. There it is. Okay. Bed and woo! Alright, we're sleeping. Nice job. So much of this land is forest. Like, I'm genuinely surprised. Good. We seem to be getting every edge, so we just gotta continue on. One thing that's gonna be bad about Bedrock is that the map doesn't load exactly the same way, so you can, like, have a swamp, what? Oh, it's a swamp, but it's a watery swamp. Alrighty then. Oh, 
Oh gosh, that's just gonna add to my hunger problems. Oh! Spider. Spider! Where is it? Where is it? Up in a tree? Oh, it's daytime, it shouldn't matter. We should be good. Whew. Oh, interesting. Alright. Looks like we have come to the edge of a oceany area. All right, I've made it to the other side. Oh crap, and I'm going off the map. That's not a good thing. Why, why do blocks keep breaking? It's so weird. Like I just had it happen to me. I don't, I don't understand what it is. All right, let's just, let's just get going up here. We seem to be back on the map. All right. We're walking through the coordinates right now. That's one thing that Bedrock has that I enjoy, is that it can always show you the coordinates. I'm, I'm happy about that, because then you can, like, kind of track where you are most of the time. It's pretty good. Oh, looks like we have hit a mountain. Interesting. Well, look what we have here. We have found a biome that's not related to grass. It's a miracle, finally. Only took us searching around like the entire edge of everything. It's not even really on the... <gasps> oh my gosh. Guys, we found a woodland mansion. How in the heck do we mark this? I guess we we're just going to have to like put it in like video... Like I need to I need to remember that there was a woodland mansion in the north. And a desert hello beautiful. Alright. We might be able to get some diamonds, boys. Let's go. Let's just do this. Alright, I am I'm starting to enjoy this. We have found our first dungeon. There seems to be zombies right below us. It might be it might be a uh, spawner room under there. Yeah, so I think, I think the, oh, Jesus Christ. Oh my God, okay. We're saved, but we're also now in the middle of a ravine. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> we're safe, and that's the important part. Um, We do not have room in our inventory. Get out of here, stone shovel. Nobody likes you. All right. Come on, come on. All right, how do we get out of here? How do we get out of here? I don't have materials. This is not a good predicament to be in right now, at least. All right, how far can we get up like that? <gasps> Whoa! <laughs> okay, okay, we should be able to get use four more of these and get up yes okay okay we have gotten out of the ravine minimal damage still recovering a little bit but we should be fine in the end as i was saying ooh, hello pillagers we're definitely not going to be fighting you Tr trust me pill pillagers are not something you want to be messing with or at least um Okay, so guys, I know how to Minecraft. This is this is generally how I strategize when I'm doing a uh, desert temple. I kind of do something like this. Do we have torches? Yes. Okay, that's good. Light. Okay, good and there. Gold horse armor. Um, and take away the sticks. And we can take gunpowder. I uh, hear gold and ooh, thorns three. Not the best, but not the worst either. At least me. I don't know. I don't know how well I. Oh, 
Ooh, fortune two. Yes, that is a definite good one. We also got some iron and then our final chest, a golden apple. No, no diamonds, no diamonds, but that's okay because we, we still got some stuff. Why do I have no blocks in my hotbar? What am I going to do with all this junk now? Because I have all this stuff that, like, I shouldn't care about. But, like, I don't know what to... I don't know if I should get rid of it. Alright, well, we're basically almost off the map. The way to go is kind of, like, down that way, but we should get close to the edge and oh looks like a pillager stronghold might be in our future a little bit it's definitely not a bad thing but well i mean yes it, it, it's kind of a bad thing okay i can't i don't have the stuff to be going after a pillager stronghold right now and especially if we find a village with that bad omen effect like oh that's not that's not an ideal situation. It just isn't. I mean, hmm. I do, I do like them, uh, like, my, I do like Mo Yang expanding a little bit, like, on the quote-unquote lore of the, of, uh, Minecraft a little bit by adding stuff, and I, I hope that maybe they ramp up some more stuff now that the game is officially, like, Again, the most popular game, like, yay, we're, we're back on the top, guys. Minecraft is more popular than Fortnite, as it was, like, a long time ago. The most people, most people think that Minecraft, like, died, but it actually didn't. Like, it really, it really didn't. People just, uh, stopped playing it, but there was still that main player base, me, me included in that, that just kept playing, and now I, I'm just happy to see the game back and to see finally us getting some serious, uh, recognition. Oh gosh, drowned is, drowns is, and those are pillagers. All right, we're gonna, we're gonna be turning this way to continue our trek downwards. Well, what do you know? Just another pillager stronghold. God dang it, these things are everywhere now. I mean, before they didn't exist, but... I mean, hey, if they really want to make you able to do the raids, then yeah. Guess you can do that. I, I don't remember if, like, the leaders respawn or not. What? 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 Did he just fall to his death? Okay. <laughs> Weird. Oh, darn it. I should have I should have grabbed some of that TNT from the uh Oh, it's a rabbit. <gasps> oh, Jesus Christ! Oh curry. What? Oh, cactus. Hall oh, for Oh my gosh. <laughs> Again, I am... Another one? Or is that the same one before? Alright, you know what? I'm just swimming... I'm just swimming fast... Fast across these waters because, you know... I am certainly glad that they made everything... Quite a lot more dangerous. But that also just kind of turned out... That now you get scared a lot more. Especially... Especially for me because uh, if you didn't know I'm like not the best fighter I am I am more of a builder type in Minecraft but I can definitely hold my own against some stuff I've uh I've never fought the wither or a raid but I mean that's understandable the ra the raids only came to Minecraft recently and especially if we're talking about PS4 they got the update so late so you know, that, I, I fought the Ender Dragon, but it wasn't really me. I was just kind of there, kind of helping a little bit. It was really, uh, I was with another guy. And he, he basically did it all, and oh my, nope, okay. 
Good, good, good. Not another one. Why, well, I keep finding rabbits. Are rabbits like a uh, desert thing? It doesn't... Rabbits don't sound like they should be a deserty thing. You know, I'm I'm glad that um hmm. Now that I now that I think what is that noise? I don't even know what that noise is. It's a noise that makes me a little bit scared. Like it just it just makes me tremble a little bit inside whenever I hear that noise right there. Just like scares me. Scares me to my core. Alright, so do we have a coal thing? Yeah, we have a coal. Ha 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 gosh. You know what? Let's just let's just get it over with. It's still not over with. There we go. There's more. Okay, now now that we've gotten Oh, are are those supposed to be like floating and then cuz it's like they're being held or I I don't know. All right. Okay, we're we're just going forward now. Seems like we're going to be getting away from the desert. I think it's a good thing we've spent like a nearly a whole day here i think so yeah all right guys we have hit the southern world okay the southern map edge i keep wanting to say world border but this is not a classic sized world okay this is not this is not a one map space this is a large world okay all right Looks like we're heading back towards our own land. I see, I think I see our pillager stronghold that's near our base. Not, not in my view, but on the map I might see it. Or maybe not. Who knows? The map has definitely been pretty eventful. I don't know, I kind of like, uh... I kind of liked the infinite map we mapped out in that series a little... A little better, probably just because it had, like, a good mix of snow, ocean, and desert, and plains, and forest. And it had even a little bit of jungle in the south! Ah, oh, those stupid, uh, those stupid berry bushes always scare the crap out of me. Just every single time they do. Alright, we should, uh, we should tread lightly around here. Definitely, this is, um, enemy territory, foresty, evil, foresty areas. Alright, we're gonna be climbing up here. All right, there we go. All right, we're up on the top now, and seems as though the sun is setting, and this is just kind of a very weird pull. I could definitely, I don't know, do something with that. I don't know. <laughs> Either way, what I'm just, what I'm thinking about doing for our base we have right now is just a really a really cool, like, our house is our house, but then we go up that staircase, and it's like a whole medieval town area. And it's going to be so cool, you guys don't even understand. Alright, come on. Go and go some more. Alright, we seem to be... Kind of in a little bit of a mountainous, snowy area. 
good to finally see our snow boys getting some equality here. And it looks like it is about to be nighttime, so we're gonna have to sleep again. This time in the freezing cold. I'll meet you back in the morning. Okay, completely and totally unrelated to anything we will be doing in like the next few months, but I totally just wanted to say that I have a really cool idea for a mini game that it's like called Raid Battle. And basically you have two teams each of them has a pillager stronghold. The first one to raid and kill the leader and all the enemies gets a point. Then you're transported to a village, and the first one to um, do, to complete the raid gets a gets another point. And the person, if there's a tiebreaker, then you have to go and fight the wither. Oh yeah, and there'd also be stuff like, um, collection periods before and after, um, each, before and after the first round and the second round. So, uh, you can, like, it'd be really cool. The only thing is, I don't know how I could even, like, get this mini game out there to people unless you, um, try to get a featured server on, uh, Bedrock, which, heck, I don't even know how to do that, and I don't even know how to create this minigame. I'd have to, like, hire somebody. But since I'm not, like, exactly, I can't really do that. Who knows? I think, I think Toy Cat said he was going to open a, an official Bedrock server soon. Well, I'd love to do that, but I think, I, 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 I probably think it's gonna be something like, uh, Hey, I am getting... I think we're pretty close to our old house. Or, I mean, not our old house, our house. Why do I keep saying, like, like we have a new house? Because we don't. Alright, yeah. We got a little bit more to go in the middle, but I don't think we need to map that out. At least not yet. I don't... I don't care, I just wanted to see some of the world, and we got some cool new stuff. Got some iron, all that stuff. We didn't really have to fight any mobs except for, like, one drown. But that's okay, because, you know, this wasn't, this whole journey was not about the action. It was about the adventure. Now, where the heck is my house? Probably on the other side of this mountain, or like close to it. Oh, there's lava. What do you know? By the way, once we find diamonds, I turned that lava pit near our house into an obsidian pit. So we should probably have enough obsidian to go to the nether once we have a diamond pickaxe. Yeah, you're welcome. I just sped up our process tenfold. Alright, well... Either way, I still don't know if it's exactly, like, safe or anything. Heck, I don't, I don't even know where to, where to go here. Um, that's a, just a lava thing. It's pretty cool. Oh, we should, should definitely, like, make a dispense, or, like, a tr lava trash can. That's the, uh, that was the classic trash can, and then stuff happened. <laughs> huh. Wouldn't there be, like, a recycling center? You could make a recycling center that was like, okay, well, we're gonna have, like, if only there was, like, tubing. Because then what I would do is I would have, like, a hopper. You would throw stuff into the hopper, it would go through the tubes, and then it would launch into chests and then when you go to that recycling center oh there's our lawn then when you go to the collection center there's a bunch of random materials so if you ever need some random thing you'll have like a bunch of stuff but again i don't know how to do that tubing I i'm sure you can do it with like hoppers but man i don't know i don't understand how you do that 
Or would you have to, like, put chests there so you can have, like, it go through chests and then be taken out of the chest as soon as it gets there so that it would, like, go through a whole process before getting to the whole thing? Well, enough pondering about, about that, because we got... We're at home now, and it seems like that should be a good place to end. Oh yeah, I found the lev this leather armor, which, uh, no pants, but some other stuff. It's a, it's an okay armor. But yeah, I think that's gonna be about it for this episode. Thank you all so much for watching. Goodbye.